Hi, Mr. Tent here, coming to you from Austin, Texas on January 27th of uh, 2010. Today's tent is an REI Habitat 4. I've got it laid out back here just to show you. It consists of four poles that crisscross in the center to form a, a little uh, uh, rectangle, a square actually. Then each pole will come, uh, uh, two poles come to each corner, two pole ends come to each corner and they end up making a vertical flat dome with a lot of space. This is a Habitat 4. Right now I'm just standing by waiting for uh, Darlene to come help me do the lift. She's, uh, I can't uh, build these tents without, uh, without her to help me. Okay, Darlene is here. We're going to do the lift. We're going to start with this corner. Then we're going to come to this corner and put the poles in. Then she's going to work her way around. Me, I'm going to stand in the tent and hold the poles up to feed them to her. So one has to hold and the other one has to uh, raise poles. That's how we do it. And here we go. Hey, Sandy. That's why you have the door open. Here we go. Slowly and deliberately. Okay, next one. There, we're halfway there. I think these pole clips might be to, uh, so that it won't slip out. Can you see the size of this? I'm going to run around the back. As soon as you can, put a couple of clips in. Uh, it just, I think it helps strengthen the tent. Not all, just a few. Because I see these poles bending diligently. Okay, those clips are in. One. Click. Click. Starting to shape up. Let's see what we've got. Let me just pan up so you can see how big this thing is. This Habitat 4, I'm about 5'11". I think, uh, I think it's got stand-up headroom. Yes, I have stand-up headroom in a Habitat 4. I think this is a huge tent. I'm going to pan the camera around uh, just so you can get a look at this tent. Stand in for size. If you get close, just for size. We're just going to kind of pan around like this. We're on the tripod, but uh, there you are. Can you see that? Uh, it's at least six feet high. I'm going to take a measurement in a minute. Let me just go around so you can see. Here's the uh, back windows that probably open up. I opened up this uh, this side window. We're looking at the back of the tent, and a lot of mesh, and a lot of ventilation. Now, the fly comes next. I just wanted to give you a quick look at the uh, at the tent and how she looks. What do you think? I think it's really it's so crisp. Doesn't it have that new tent smell? I wish um, I wish you could be here. It, feels like a brand new sparkling new tent. Rain fly detail. You can see Darlene's back in the corner with her corner of the rain fly. I'm going to come over here to your right and we're just going to carry the rain fly over and click in. With any luck, it'll go like a charm. Here we go. You ready? Over! Now, here's a tent. 
tab, loosen these up before you click them in. And then you just go... Click. You can always cinch them up later. Like for example, you see this pole showing over here? I'm going to go fix that now. Probably needs to come this way a little bit. Darlene reminds me that there's a little uh, pole sleeve that uh, goes in the front here. She's in the process of uh, running it through. She's got one grommet already in. Yes. Now she's going to go put the other. Now this pole is cracked, so it might not have a steady bend. But for our purposes, it's going to be fine. What do you think? Does that look about right, or should yes. we pull it down a little bit more, or what? Okay. Essentially, we're trying to create a little overhang uh, over the uh, tent. Thoughts? I think I'd like to keep this tent. You don't want to sell it? No. Okay. Okay. Cut. <laughs> How many tents do you want to keep? Can I keep all of my tents? <laughs> How many tents do I have now? I think a hundred. <laughs> Okay, I gotta sell some tents. Okay.